Hi, Steve. Welcome. Hi, thank you. Uh, I'm Brian Miller from Landis Communications. Thank you so much for being on our vlog today to talk about Remember Who You Are, um, a book that you were kind enough to send to me to preview so that we could um, talk about it today. And But before we get into that, why don't you tell me a little bit about you know, who you are, what you do, and how you came to be the the editor and driving force of this book. I'm Steve Ketman. I'm a former San Francisco Chronicle sports writer. Ended up getting into books. I've uh, authored a lot of books. I've ghostwritten some books, including Juiced for Jose Canseco, which people know. And then in recent years, I've also been a publisher of books. And for all the books I've worked on, I'm not nearly as proud of any of them as the new book, Remember Who You Are, which is what Pedro Gomez showed us about baseball and life. And this is 62 personal essays looking at the life and legacy of Pedro Gomez of ESPN who died in February of sudden cardiac arrest. Can you tell me, you know, how did you get this sort of media family that at times can be at great odds and on opposite sides of the table to come together and collaborate? After Pedro died in February, I felt like there was such an outpouring on social media and on a kudo board that I had put up that maybe it made sense to do a book, but you know, I was grieving. It wasn't a great time to work. And I really wasn't sure I would do anything. But as soon as I started reaching out to people, the response was overwhelming. People were thankful for an opportunity to try to take a closer look at how they felt about Pedro, what, what about him felt so special to them. They, they felt that Pedro embodied values of caring about more than that day's deadline, that day's scoop, he always cared about people on a deeper level. And, and you know, you, you give something and you get something back. And I think what Pedro got back was a real deep reservoir of love, respect, and admiration. So one of the people who contributed to the book is uh, LCI's own Robin Carr. And I know that she is kind of a little bit shy that way. So what did you have to do to get her to contribute? I know she was a big fan of Pedro's. Well, it was funny because in general, I kind of took no for an answer with people because I was so busy reaching out to so many people. But Robin, I, I knew right away she had to be in the book. I, I went by Pedro's and my conversations over the years. Pedro loved and respected a lot of people, but there were some people who were really special <laughs> to him. And oh. Robin Carr was one. So Robin at first said, yes, she would do an essay. And then she got back to me and said, oh, I don't know. She was getting cold feet. I'm not a writer. <laughs> and I said, no way, Robin. We can't do this book without you in here. And I absolutely love her essay, which I highly recommend to people. Tell us about thegomezrules.com. So the website for the book is thegomezrules.com, where you can uh, hear other interviews I've done and read some of the essays in the book and get the information. But uh, a few days after Pedro died in February, I went down to Arizona and spoke in a, a baseball stadium down there, uh, along with members of the family and others. And I talked then about the Gomez rules, which is a kind of code that Pedro and I live by, which is it's not enough to make your deadline or to make your boss happy. You have to live by a deeper code of the right mm -hmm. way to do things. Things like if you criticize somebody, you always show up the next day. Things like make sure to notice the little things and go talk to somebody, you know, a third baseman who made a very subtle little play, probably no one even noticed it. Notice it and then go talk to him that day when everyone else is talking to the guy who hit the home run in the ninth inning. You show that guy that you respect him and you understand him and that you see him but you build relationships that way. It sounds more like rules for life than it is rules for, um, for sports. Um, thank you so much. I'm so pleased that you spent time with us today. And where can folks get the book if they're interested? It's at your local bookstore. It's online. We always encourage people to go to their independent bookstore whenever they can. Or uh, Amazon is, is, uh, is there as well. Post a review if you read it. Thanks so much for listening.